we're doing a plate. So we're gonna do a plate. And the thing to know about a plate is that you need extra clay because you're gonna lose a lot in the bottom. So this is about four and a half pounds. Wow. So centering a big piece of clay like this, I mean, you know, it's not huge, but it's more substantial than you're used to, right? So what you need to know is that you leaning your body, the same thing as I always talk about, right? But if it, the bigger it gets, the more it's about the lean across, like right? I can put both hands across, right? And then I'll just shove the whole wheel over. And that'll work really nicely. You guys can interact with me even though this thing's going. All right, so you notice that I'm centering it low, and then I'm continuing to center it low, right? So even as I'm coming down, I'm compressing across, right? This may be where the cracking probably yeah. came in. Yeah. So I kind of like opened it and then was compressing. Uh huh. While well, I still had, well, I didn't compress the whole thing, which yeah. I'm seeing you're doing. Yeah. And I'm compressing in from the side. And I just jammed my finger into it. That was good. Okay, so I'm opening it in this very bizarre way, right? Very different from what you're used to. Where I'm leaning, I'm using my whole palm to open it, and I'm compressing the side as I'm going. So what I'm wanting to do is have it be um, not too tight a point where I'm opening it. Like if I'm opening it like this, I don't have as much strength could do it. So then again, I compress my rim. This is a great time to use a sponge also. Okay, so you see I'm kind of pulling that out. Do you see how that yeah. happened? Yeah. And my bottom is not all that clean at the moment, right? It's got a lot of variation going on there. Um, the trick with a big wide plate is that you're gonna lose some as the wire, when you pull the wire across, it's gonna bow up, right? Doesn't do that with smaller pieces and noticeably, it probably does it, but not noticeably. So you wanna really be cautious about making sure that there's plenty of room underneath. Whether I've done that or not is another matter entirely. Do as I say, not as I do. That's just your bigger size back, correct? Yeah. It is, yeah. Okay, you might notice that I'm throwing towards the center. I'm also releasing my pressure as I come in. I'm trying to make it really even. And I find that it's e very easy to make a dent, an inappropriate dent in the middle, as opposed to an appropriate dent. <laughs> How did that just happen? So my outside finger is starting to dig in underneath. My inside hand is working to, to um, meet it. Are you even pulling up at this point, or is it just the force of the compression that's pushing the clay out? Well, yeah, this goes back to the point about um, pull. It's, it is compression that gets the clay to move. Yeah. It's not a pull. It's called a pull, but it's a total misnomer in my book. So I am compressing between my two fingers, between my inside hand and my outside hand, and that's what's making it come up, yes. 
but it is pretty much like I do a poll anyway. So that little button in the middle that happens, that is so much easier to fix than, um, than a dip. Right. And I'm actually really loving this rim like that. I don't know if you guys like it, but you seem to be slowing down as it gets drier. Absolutely, as it gets bigger and as it gets drier, um, because at a certain point when this is thinned out, centrifugal force is going to kick in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if it's thin and wet and it more the, and you go fast, it will, you know. I've seen, I've seen that. You've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun, why not? Right. Have a spiral in there. Are there questions about how this happened? The biggest thing about making a plate is really how do you open it? How do you flatten it out and open it so you've got the thickness still and you've got a decent curve and your wall is compressed? It's very little time that I actually yeah. spend on the rim or on the wall, right? Is that a paella plate? Um, I think it would probably be a little bit more the up. walls would be a little higher because mm -hmm. it's like I said kind of juicy mm -hmm. um, but yeah I mean you've got enough clay there yeah exactly like, like that yeah although this is more of a platter than a plate yeah it is like it is platterish mm -hmm. it's like kind of um believe Flatter, very, very low bowl. Yeah, okay. So then cutting this with a wire, you gotta start with it tight and then expand your thumbs out. Ooh, that was even thin. Yeah, yeah. thin. Yeah, you saw that. There it goes. Yeah. So thicker than you think. Yeah. Okay. 